chances given to, uh, let's have a look on the toad at the moment. Number four is a good chance to fiery chick. Moving in, race one, Compass Savings Maiden, 513 metres, Riviera Playboy, High Potential, Lorna's Girl, Fiery Chick, Vibrant Touch, Wild Wally, Flitzer and Snow Crystal. All set for the first, here's the lure. Race one, Tarelgan, they're racing this time and on the inside, Riviera Playboy flew the start, but now the favourite Snow Crystal heads it early and Snow Crystal leads out of the straight on the first occasion. In second placing is High Potential going for the rails, then came Lorna's Girl. Gap back, then the outside came Fiery Chick, further afield then was Wild Wally, Riviera Playboy's drop back now, then came Vibrant Touch and last of all is Flitzer, they work off the back and striding away now, High Potential. Out full of running around the home turn from Snow Crystal and running on Fiery Chick but down the straight an easy win to High Potential getting up for second on the outside Fiery Chick uh, just in front there of the tiring Snow Crystal then came Riviera Playboy further back then in the bunch would have been Fiery Chick Vibrant Touch well back with Wild Wally Flitzer in the bunch stand by for placings the first 30.99 the time 30 and 99 number two High Potential is the winner and the judge has gone for a photo for second and third to separate. We're just standing by for those. Uh, let's have a think. It was uh, on the outside, Fiery Chick, I think, and Snow Crystal, the other one. Of course, those two in it there were Fiery Chick, the one finishing on on the outside, and Snow Crystal tiring on the rails. Close go for second and third. Two and a photo after race number one. Yes, number two, High Potential taking it out in the core. We said, of course, Fiery Chick, we fancy, may just get up and get second ahead of the tiring Snow Crystal. The story of the race, uh, Riviera Playboy flew the boxes the inside, but shortly eight. Are High Potential, the winner. Second placing to four, Fiery Chick, and third eight, Snow Crystal, two, four, eight. Moving up, second pick, Lady Pleach. Uh, spend what's left, $1.85, Lady Pleach, 285. Moving in, race two, Royal Exchange Hotel Stake, grade five, 513 metres. Greyhounds moving in well for the second. Spend what's left, Jimmy Cricket, Miss Dustburner, Miss Cooey, Lady Pleach, Bindi Joe, Pabs Etzel and Super Toff. It's the field for the second event on the program here at Glenview Park and they're all set to go. Lure rolling, set, ready. Racing this time, spend what's left, missed it on the inside and leading out early as Pav Zetzel passed the judge on the first occasion from Lady Pleach up on the outside was Super Toff. As they head into the back straight, it's Pav Zetzel taking over now by two lengths, Super Toff finishing on the outside and railing through Lady Pleach to join them. Then came Bindi Joe, further back then was Spend What's Left there, followed by Jimmy Cricket, Miss Dustburner. Last of all is Miss Cooey, they round the home turn and out wide on the track, Super Toff's in front, running on Lady Pleach, but Super Toff looks all over a winner, Super Toff scores by three on the line, second Bindi Joe, third Lady Pleach. Back behind them, then on the outside came Pav Zetzel. Back in the bunch was Spen Watts left, Miss Dustburner. Miss Cooey was well back in it to pull up. Jimmy Cricket pulling up quickly. Stand by for the placings on the second event. Race two. Numbers about to go into the frame. Running at the second event. Eight, six and five. Number eight, Super Toff, the winner. Second to six, Bindi Joe. And third to five, Lady Pleach. Placings eight, six and five on the second event on the program. Yes, uh, an easy win for Super Toff. 31.16, was it? Right. 31.16, hand timing. Race number two, 31.16, a hand timing. The winner there, number eight. Right, they're moving up in three, two, one. Moving up here, moving up here at uh, Terelgan, Compass Savings Maiden, 5.13. Check those placings. Photo at Sandown. Now they're all set for the third. Third from Terelgan, ready, set. Racing this time, one of the best to leave the boxes there was KJ Lass, bound straight to the early lead from Blue Ransom, Chief Scandal. 
and Caramillo Sam. Around the first turn they head and into the back and it's Blue Ransom the leader by two or three lengths now over KJ last second then came Chief Scandal. Right around the outside of the field goes Young Jenny further back then in the field uh, came Rivers getting well back in it now Caramillo Sam back with it also Black Echo last of all Sweet Vengeance they swing to the home turn. Young Jenny is clear of Chief Scandal and Young Jenny by five Chief Scandal. Third went to Blue Ransom then came further back on the outside there would have been uh, K. Joe Lass further back then came Black Echo Rivers was well back in a Caramillo Sam pulled up in the bunch stand by for the placings race three number seven young Jenny the winner second to number one Chief Scandal and third to number three Blue Ransom 713 here at Tarelgan we'll check them at Sandown 713 here at Tarelgan Number seven, Young Jenny, the winner. Second to one, Chief Scandal. Seven, one and three. Re repeating, seven, one and three. Seven, one, three here at Terelgan. Hand timing was... Thank you. Hand timing on the race once again, 30.91. 30.91, the hand timing. 30.91, hand timed. The time recorded. Hope she does select Princess Borna Shamrock. Moving up, join me in, in three, two, one. Moving up here at Terelgan for the Royal Exchange, grade five. Uh, Toad favourite, about a dollar eighty-five. Crazy dude as they move up. Crazy dude, drawn box four. Hope she does select Princess. Free credit also given chances. Hope she does. Going to the inside, select Princess in two. Born a Shamrock, three. Crazy Dude, four. Dunkeld Pride in five. Career in six. Ted's My Name, seven. Free credit, box eight. Royal Exchange Hotel, grade five. They're all set for the fourth of Terelgan. Lua rolling, they're set, ready, racing this time, hope she does, got away smartly on the inside, crazy dude showing pace and down the outside early was Dunk L Pride, they drive to the first turn and crazy dude leads them into the back, two lengths now over around the outside, Dunk L Pride to second, hope she does on the rails third, then came further back, select princess, a long gap back, then came Ted's my name, Korea. Further back then was free credit and last of all is Borna Shamrock. They wheel off the back and up front and running Crazy Dude. Running on nicely though, hope she does. Second, Crazy Dude kicks away again though. And Crazy Dude by two and a half, hope she does. Third went to Dunkel Pride from Select Princess Korea. Further back then in the event was Borna Shamrock back behind them. Free credit, Ted's my name. Back in the bunch. Dunk Stand by for placings, race number four. Placings on the fourth event. Number four. Number four, Crazy Dude, the winner. Second to one, Hope She Does. And third, five, Dunk Old Pride. Four, one, and five on the fourth event. We'll need a hand timing. Four, one, and five, the placings race four. And the hand timing was 3086. Thank you. Right. 3086, the hand timing, 3086. Placings on the. Um. Tigress Tammy, box five. Box six is occupied by Burn Pick, Scottish Jester in seven, Valley Zorro, box eight. They're all set for a start. Race five, green light on, lure rolling. Set, ready. Racing this time, they jumped as one smooth launch shortly afterwards, took the lead from Valley Zorro second, then came Good Temper around the outside of the field, Burn Picks further out, very wide there, Scottish Jester railing through Hedgerow and Hammer, they round the home turn, matching two at the moment, smooth launch being grabbed the inside by Good Temper and Good Temper goes home to win, second smooth uh, launch, third went to Hedgerow, they're followed by further back then in the bunch came Valley Zorro, wide out was Scottish Jester, Burn Picks, Tigress Tammy, Always well back in it. Hammer back in the bunch too. 17 16 the time. Now just stand by, we'll check that time. Seventeen sixty two. Please note that clock is wrong. Seventeen sixty two. Hand time, 17.62. Hand timing after race number five. And it's a photo. A photo called for after the running of the fifth event. 
photo here to separate one good temper uh, for second we placed uh, number three hedgerow was there and smooth launch wasn't too far away either but uh, it's a photo at the moment I fancy number one good temper to get it get the bird two three in fact now official after the photo number one good temper is the winner second to number two smooth launch and third to three hedgerow one two and three 1762 our greyhounds are now moving forward the top cat video next over 730 meters we've got Thelma's choice new bonanza our Yvonne farcical Triffield champ Bally Perrine Bonnie Jester and Shamrock flash uh, relays if you haven't already done so you can join me now just about set to go for the sixth event Thelma's choice the favorite all set for a start 730 meters they're ready and away they go, they jump as one, Thelma's Choice uh, takes the lead shortly after the start from Farsigal going to second, then came Al Yvonne third, two lengths back then came Bonnie Jester, further afield the outside was Shamrock Flyer there, followed by New Bonanza tracking a bit wide there, Driffield Champ, and back at the rear, Bally Perrine. They've got a lap to go and past the judge, it's Thelma's Choice with a break of now six or seven lengths at least out in front. Of in second placing Al Yvonne, then came Bonnie Jester around the outside, Farsigal, railing through then Shamrock flash there followed by New Bonanza further back then came Driffield Champ and last of all Bally Perrine but they've got to catch this leader and I don't think they will Thelma's Choice is well clear straightening up running on now New Bonanza but Thelma's Choice although getting tired on the line will win only by two lengths New Bonanza flew home to get second third went to Al Yvonne they're followed by further back then in the field came Shamrock Flash Bonnie Jester Bally Perrine back behind them and Farcical pulled up in the bunch stand by for placings Race number six. Getting pretty tight on the post. It wouldn't have wanted to be much further, but Thelma's choice has hung on to win. Probably about a length and a half, two lengths on the line from number two, New Bonanza. And third's gone to three, Al Yvonne. Placings one, two, three. Second time tonight. One, two, three. Race number six. The Top Cat video, 730 metres. Thelma's choice must have led by eight to ten lengths around the home turn and has been cut down to length and a half, two lengths on the line by New Bonanza who was storming home and Al Yvonne got third. One, two, three, standing by for the hand timing on race number six. 44.65, thank you. 44.65, the hand timing, 44. Top Cat video, stake, grade four, 513 metres. Greyhounds moving in. Born to keep, Skeletor Man, Flying Dorian. Box four is vacant, Land Cart in five. Tullock six, Watch the Blonde seven. Patrick is a scratching, so box eight vacant. They're all set, race seven, ready. Racing this time, one of the best to leave the boxes was down on the inside, Born to Keep. It's a good charge for the early lead, three in line. Out wide on the track, Watch the Blonde will take the lead into the back straight. And Watch the Blonde now gets away two lengths. Born to Keep goes to second. Then came round the outside, uh, is flying Dorian from Skeletor Man. Further back then came Tullock and Landcart at the rear. They wheel off the back and uh, now over on the inside, Watch the Blonde being joined the outside by Born to Keep. Born to Keep works to the lead from Watch the Bond. Born to Keep striding away and Born to Keep wins at two lengths. Second went to Flying Dorian. Up on the outside, Tullock may be third. In front there is Skeletor Man. Further back then in the field uh, came Land Cart, who was one of the last in. Stand by for placings. One, three and a photo. Number one, Born to Keep the winner. Second to three, Flying Dorian. And it's a photo for third. Those prominent there were Tullock the outside and uh, Skeletor Man. It may have been back on the rails. One, three and a photo. We'll wait on the judge for that third. Number one, Born to Keep the winner. Second to three, Flying Dorian. And a photo for third. Right. 31.37 hand timing. 31.37 hand timed. Right, uh, one three in a photo, one three in a photo on the seventh event on the program. Born to keep the winner flying Dorian second and standing by for third. Number six Tullock is third. 
one three at sale next Saturday afternoon is a good 11 event program. Now they're moving in well. Star Toledo, Rising Fast, Meadow Josie, Joaska's son, Twin Picks, Spanish Wonder, Tara Glitter and Gypsy Warning. All set for the eighth. Ready. Racing this time, Star Toledo out fairly on the inside. Tara Glitter flew the start and lead settling down by three lengths. Gypsy warning, rising fast. Star Toledo and White on the first turn. Joe Asker's son, they head to the back. Tara Glitter now the leader by three lengths. Star Toledo second, White on the track, rising fast. They're followed by Spanish Wonder. Further back then in the centre was Meadow Josie, a gap back then, Gypsy Warning. Well back, Joe Asker's son, Twin Picks, they swing to the home turn. It's Tara Glitter being grabbed the inside by Star Toledo. Star Toledo in front and wins. Second placing's a camera. Spanish Wonder or Tara Glitter. Uh, then came further back in the field. Would have been Meadow Josie. Well back in it then. Gypsy Warning. Spanish Wonder pulled up quickly into the pens with twin picks. Joaska's son. Stand by for placings. Number one, Star Toledo, the winner. Judge going for a photo for second and third. A pretty close go too between number six which was Spanish Wonder and number seven Tara Glitter. Hey. 31.09, thank you. Yeah, that was two on the outside as well, of course, in that photo, flashing home as well. They were all over the place for second and third, but little, no doubt about the winner, it's in the frame. Number one, Star Toledo, the winner, photo for second and third. Right, one and a photo. Uh, number six, Spanish Wonders there with Tara Glitter and Rising Fast has been storming home too when it was all over. One and a photo race number eight, 31.09 hand timed. 31.09 hand timed, the time on the eighth event timing, race number eight. Right, it's one, six and seven. One, six and seven on the eighth event on the program. Number one, Star Toledo. One. Moving forward here for the Royal Exchange Hotel, Grade 5 Greyhounds over 5.13 metres in Box 1, High Castle, 2 Civic Tony, 3 Easy Flying, 4 Bow Mandy, Box 5 is Vacant, 6 Vibrant Shadow, and in Box 7 Linton's Deluxe and Box 8 is also Vacant. Light comes on for Race 9, they're all set to go. Ready for a start. Ready. And racing High Castle toward the inside began pretty well. Bo Mandy was the best out of boxes. Leads at the judge the first time by three. High Castle boots up on the inside. Racing up on the inside there uh, would have been Vibrant Shadow Linton's Deluxe for the back. Civic Tony dropped out to second last and easy flying along last. Down the back and little Bo Mandy's about two in front. Coming after it on the inside was Vibrant Shadow. High Castle off around the outside about four lengths off the lead. Three lengths for the back. Two Linton's Deluxe, easy flying well, back on the corner, Bo Mandy in front, getting up on the inside, was Vibrant Shadow, Vibrant Shadow wins at about a half length, High Castle second, third on the inside, Bo Mandy, then Linton's Deluxe, Civic Tony well back and last of all, easy flying. Stand by for the placings on race number nine. The winner number six, Vibrant Shadow. Judges call for a photo for second and third. Six and a photo on race nine. Well, Vibrant Shadow's got this photo, um, won it. Tied for second. High Castle was up on the inside. And uh, Bo Mandy was also in this photo. Six and a photo, principally in there, is High Castle and Bo Mandy. Stand by for numbers here at Terrelden. <laughs> Best out of boxes toward the inside was Bo Mandy. It's a, got to lead down the back straight. Number one, High Castle has run second. Third, number four, Bo Mandy. The winner, number six, Vibrant Shadow. Second, number one, High Castle. And third, number four, Bo Mandy. And for the final event here at Terrelgan tonight, moving up for the last race 10, the Compass Savings. Maiden stake over 5.13 metres. Greyhounds almost set to go. The last of them being locked away for the last here at Terrelgan. Satan Smoke, Black Boat on. They're all set. Ready for the last. Set. 
Racing this time, Satan Smoke bounded straight to the lead at Box Rise from Bain, Timely Spark. Further out on the track was Kelly's Command. The first turn and wider still was Mystery Chief. Into the back straight they head. It's Satan Smoke, the leader by a length now. Timely Spark the outside, then came Kelly's Command. Wide out was Bain. Further back behind and then came Key Tempo. The outside was Mystery Chief. Well back in it then was Good Rung, a black bow don. They round the home turn in the last and railing through now, Timely Spark, but three wide, Kelly's Commands grabbed them in a stride, and Kelly's Command strides right away, four lengths in the last, second Bane, third Satan Smoke, then came Timely Spark, back behind them, then the outside would have been Key Tempo, Black Bow Don was well back in it, Mystery Chief pulled up amongst the tail enders. 31-34 on the last, 31-34, looked a pretty close go on the home turn, Three of them close together, but Kelly's command's flown out of the pack and shot right away in the run home to win number nine. The first reserve, number nine, Kelly's command, has got the money. Second placing to number six, Bain, and it's a photo for third uh, on the last. Right, nine, six, and a photo here at Terrelgan on the last. Yes, as I said, it was a close go on the home turn. They rounded the home turn. There was timely spark, Satan smoke and Kelly's Command, who was there on the outside. But once balanced up for home, Kelly's Command has gone for home and shot right away, was running away on the line to score easily by about three or four lengths in the run home from number six, Bain, which has got second. And third has gone to one, Satan Smoke. Number one, Satan Smoke has got third. Nine, six, one on the last, and they are official. So... Uh, to a